Hello, and welcome back. Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm gonna be cooking spaghetti carbonara. I'm gonna be using the linguine, pasta, and cheese, eggs, and some bacon. Um, originally, I was gonna get some. Oops, I was gonna get some um, of uh, pancetta. Pancetta. That's what it's called. Yeah, pancetta. But um, we had some bacon left in the in the fridge, so just gonna use that up. So yeah, I'm gonna be cooking one of my favorite dishes today. Um, hopefully, it goes well. Um, it's not. Difficult to make, it's very simple, um, just with four ingredients. So, um, yeah, let's get crack on. Um, so, the first thing I've done is just pouring the pasta into thinking about um, the pan, and now I'm just going to cut up some of the bacons and just start mixing the eggs and the cheese together to make the sauce. Um, yeah, so how's how's thing going? Oh. Um, I've not been filming much on this channel because I've been busy with work, got a new job. Um, so yeah, not how much time to do anything. I've, I've not been motivated to do much. So, um, but yeah, here here I am um, doing the YouTube video again. Just something to. I guess do in my spare time um, something that I can be creative with well just cooking and cooking and watching YouTube videos it's not that very creative but um, but yeah just it's just something different I guess doing this filming um, and cooking stuff so I can look back um, you know, later in the future to see what I've done and what food I can make and how good I am with it. Yeah, so Prodigy's very boring commentary here. And um, what I'm doing, I'm just literally just cutting some bacon to, into small pieces so it's easy to um, cook. Okay, is that too much bacon? Nah. Too much. Right, that should be fine. Not bored about that. Push the garlic. So the reason you want to do that is just to um, give it a little tap before you cut it. Just give it um, to release the juice out. That's what I've learned. Uh, I don't like cutting garlic. But I did not do. A good job of this. Um, right, what we're gonna do now? No, I'm done the cheese. Um, can cut this bit knife. Mm. So wait, uh, here we go. Right, I'm gonna do just grate the cheese on here quickly. Just turn that down slightly. So carbonara is not, like I said before, it's not difficult to make. It's four ingredients. Um, you can buy the carbonara sauce, but I feel like if you make it this way, it's, it's much nicer. Um, the only thing you need to buy, if you don't have it in your house, is the cheese. And the bacon. Assume you have the egg and the pasta, of course. Um, the cheese can be quite expensive, so this one cost me four pound. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's called, but it's it's definitely the right cheese. Um, it's called parmi parmigiano, uh, and it smells good. Yeah, so you, 
that's that's all that's that's all the ingredient you need. There's no need to buy honestly any other sauce because it tastes better if you do it if you do everything from scratch basically. Um, what I do is just whisk the egg like this. So what I'm gonna do here is just fry the bacon slightly. Don't need that much oil because bacon's got a lot of fat in it as well. So just whisking that around. Oops, some flies there. So once we fry some bacon, we're gonna add garlic and then the pasta, then we're gonna add the, the eggs and the cheese together. I feel like I put too much cheese in there. Well that's okay. Um What's that red thing there? Hmm. Right. Should I add another egg on here? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I think I should add more eggs. Yeah, fuck it. Right. Go in the bacon. I think the pasta should be done soon. Yeah, that's the consistent I want, to be honest. Maybe that's too runny, so what I can do, add my more cheese. I need more cheese later on for the that's very good egg. There we go. When our bacon a bit crispy, well I think I need more cheese for a thickness consistency on that. Brum 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 brum. Right, I've some of the cheese getting into my drink. Drinking IPA. Tastes good. Right, I think the pasta's done. So what I'm gonna do is turn off the pasta, let it rest, and then we're gonna use the pasta. I'm gonna put the pasta into the pantry right away, use some of the um, some of the water. To cut the, the egg and make it into a sauce. Um, give me that tongue. Put that there for a sec. Right, can cut the bacon a couple more minutes. That's a, that's a good consistency you want with cheese and the egg to make the sauce. Usually you're only supposed to put one egg, but I put too much cheese on before. So, at least I'll get more sauce out of this. Right, I'm just going to add my Garlic for flavour. While that's cooking, I'm gonna grate more cheese. Is that enough? Uh, that should be enough. Right, that'll do. Oh my god, that's a mess. Okay, right. leave that there. Right, I think that's okay for me. Um, don't want to cook it any longer. That's a good amount to be fair. So what I'm going to do now is just get a pasta. Make sure you turn the heat off. Okay, you don't want to cook it any longer. 
get a pass in here. Right. Keep going, going. You know what, I'm just going to put all of it in. There we go. Right. Let's get a bit of pasta sauce. Swirl it about. Get that cut. Now I'm going to do more pasta sauce. Water, whatever you call it. Alright, don't know the terminology for this, but all you do is just swirl it around like this. Yeah, boy, this is how you make carbonara. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. Can a bit add a bit more pass the water. Making sure every single bit is covered in egg and cheese because that's how we like it. Okay. Alright, I'll peel this. It's important to um well. You know what I actually don't care about turning it properly. There we go. Just get in in my bowl. Right, what I usually do with the sauce here, just get a bit past the water, just slightly. Right, that's more clean up to do, I'm not doing that just yet. Um, okay, so that's my spaghetti carbonara. Let's try this. With more cheese, of course. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Mm, a bit of pepper. Yo, how good does that look? Looks good. Does it taste good? That's the thing. Spiggy carbonara. Oh my god. Mm. It tastes so good. Mm. How would you say? Uh, how would you say nice in in Italy? Nice, I guess. Hmm. This is so good. This bacon is peanut perfect, to be honest. Mm. Right, I'm gonna finish eating this 
and then I'll, I'll see you in a bit.